Right, in this video, we're going to take a look at um, for loops and while loops in R. And now, this is another type of flow control that allows us to get um, R to do a lot of stuff for us. Um, so, let's uh, let's look at this uh, JJJ data set. And let's, we've got everyone's age, and we want to see how many candles in total have been blown uh, over over uh, John and Joe and Jill's uh, lifetime. Okay, so um, we're just going to do this by example. So we're going to create a, a vector of candles um, uh, that so that just creates an empty vector. Oops, using the assign. And if we take a look at candles, there's just nothing in it. Okay, and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go through every one of these ages. And so we're going to say take the first age and add that to and, and count all the candles. Then take the second age and count all the candles. All right. So um, the way you do that, you simply say four and then you put a bracket and then say, for example, age. Um, but that I can call it whatever I want. So that could be X or B or C or whatever. So for age in JJJ dollar um, age. So in that vector. And then we have this uh, curly bracket. So now what, what are we going to do? So I'm going to set a little C to 0 and then I'm going to say alright now counting uh, up until the actual age add the numbers. So 4 and let's say N again it can be whatever we want uh, oops I should have this bracket for N in and now we simply use and we've seen this in a previous video uh, that notation so 0 to age that just gives you the so 0 to to 15 is just the vector from 0 to 15. All right. So here I'm catching age to iterate over there, and n now is going to go iterate from 0 to, to age. And now we open another curly bracket. And so for a particular age, I want you to add um, all those numbers to this little counter we've got. OK, so we set for every age, we set c to 0. In other words, the, the, the little candles, and then we add all those um, C's up. And then what we want to do is um, take the candles, our vector of candles that starts off with nothing, and uh, combine that with candles and with little um, C. And so now if we uh, run all that, and we take a look at candles, we have all the candles that are that are there. So the easiest to check the before last one is a three. And before last one, someone was two. So they had one candle on their first birthday, first birthday, and two candles on um, their second. So um, that's that's basic for loops. We'll see in, in future videos ways of making that more efficient. This isn't the most efficient way of doing things, but well, that, that that's interesting for now. Um, and now we're going to take a look at um, another type of uh, a flow control, which is the while loop. Here, I basically know when to stop, right? I'm saying for every one of these elements. But we might not always know that. So um, what if we wanted all the even numbers um, less than 70? Well, let's write a bit of code that does that. So we're going to create a little uh, counter, create our first even number, which is just going to be 2 times k. Um, and then we create a vector even numbers and we we just have that as even by itself and then we have a, a while loop um, so while even is less than 70 right and so this is like our for loop but now we're saying okay check this every time so we're going to create a little loop that goes round and round and round and checks that while so while even is less than 70 do what's in um, the curly brackets. And so what's in the curly brackets is to increment k to k plus 1 to set even to um, 2k, so it's this, the, the kth even number, and put that in our vector. So even numbers combine with even numbers and this new even number. Okay? And if we now run that, 
when we look at our even numbers, we get the vector um, with with those even numbers less than 70. Okay, it's two types of loops: for loops and while loops. And what's basically happening, you see that it it checks this at the beginning of the loop. So it actually got to 70. Yeah, at some point k got incremented uh, to k plus one, got to 70, came back here, checked that even was actually equal to 70, so it wasn't less than 70, and it said I'm done. Um, so those are two very powerful things in, in R, but we'll see how to make them even more, uh, even even quicker, even even faster um, later on.